Hi everyone, I want to talk about retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is the common cancer affecting the eyes of the children. In other words, it is an intraocular malignancy of childhood. It can be familiar or hereditary because of mutation in retinoblastoma gene. And when it is familiar, it's going to be bilateral, multifocal, there will be positive family history, and non-germline mutations. It can also be non-familiar, in which case it's sporadic or somatic. So, there will be mutation in non-reproductive cells, that is, RB1 gene, not germline mutations. No. Instead of bilateral, that we're going to find in familiar cases, it's going to be unilateral here. And instead of being multifocal, it's going to be unifocal. And that could be diagnosed later in life. In United States and Europe, it's about one in every 15,000 live birth. It diagnosed at ages 12 to 24 months for hereditary and non-hereditary respectively. In other words, those that have hereditary or familiar cause will be diagnosed earlier compared to those that are non-familiar. Though 95% is diagnosed before age 5, some are diagnosed later in life as old as 18 years old. There's no racial predilection. It is similar in both boys and girls. Retinoblastoma gene is found on chromosomes, and that encodes a nuclear protein called RB, which is a tumor suppressor. The RB functions essentially to restrict progression from G1 phase of cell cycle to S phase. But when there is loss of active and functional RB, then that will lead to cell cycle dysregulation. If left untreated, retinoblastoma could be very deadly. It destroys the affected eye and the entire globe. There is possibility of spontaneous regression in some few cases and can be benign in form of retinocytoma. The clinical features here will be, you are going to see a kind of abnormal white reflex. It is called leukocoria. And that is seen through the pupil. Strabismus, that is, both eyes cannot align. One is likely going to turn in, the other will turn out or turn up. So you're going to see strabismus and decreased vision when visual acuity is tested, and of course, signs of inflammation. May have vitreous hemorrhage with a darker rather than white light reflex. The child, if they are old enough to complain, can complain about eye pain and fever, because when you have inflammation or bitter cellulitis, you will find fever. Proptosis, orbital cellulitis, aphemia in the absence of trauma, anorexia, weight loss and vomiting, headache, neurological impairment, orbital mass or soft tissue mass. How do we screen here? When there is positive family history of retinoblastoma, then any child that is produced, I mean, any offspring of the affected individual should be examined every two months for the first three years. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> the affected parents will find this troubling, but that is necessary. Okay. Examination every six months until the age of seven. That is 
every two months for the first three years. Then after three years, it's going to be every six months till the child will be seven. If retinoblastoma 1 mutation is positive, the individual should have frequent screening throughout childhood. When you want to make the diagnosis, there will be no biopsy, please. There's no need of pathology before making the diagnosis. Ocular ultrasound could be done. Magnetic resonance imaging of orbits and the brain is going to be helpful. Ophthalmological examination under anesthesia will be expedient. And of course, complete physical examination will be appropriate. How do we treat retinoblastoma? Oh, refer. Referral to ophthalmologists or oncologists or both, as the case may be. So, what we've done is a short presentation on what retinoblastoma is all about, how we can work our way down to make diagnosis, and how to help the family that will have possible family history. So, if there is a family with positive family history, we know how to screen the offspring of the family and then make appropriate referral on a timely basis. Thank you for listening. Kindly subscribe, and you'll be able to go through all my presentations immediately if they are published. Thank you.